As we approach the end of the fall semester and move into the holiday season and look forward to commencement, this is a good time to look back on some of the achievements and accomplishments which have occurred here on the campus in the past several months. These achievements are the direct result of the hard work and academic excellence of our faculty, our staff, and our very engaged students. Our reputation as a preferred destination for university education is one which we have earned through the collaborative efforts of our faculty, staff, and students. We started off this semester with the second highest enrollment that we've ever had, just under 9,000 students who, who were on the campus in the fall. We launched the Transfer Innovators Program. This program was designed exclusively for transfer honors students by students from local community colleges and UM Dearborn. It features inclusion and engagement with our community. And we welcome our first cohort next semester. The campus was involved again with honoring municipalities for their innovative ideas for attracting and retaining businesses in Michigan and transforming our state's economy. iLabs and the College of Business recognized over 40 communities this fall through the E-Cities program. And UM Dearborn also played host to the first Arab woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Over 1,500 people from the community and the campus attended Tawakul Karman's speech at the Dearborn Performing Arts Center earlier in the semester. With the help of grants and collaborations with other universities, UM Dearborn will participate in the state's ever, uh, first ever uh, collaborative business engagement center with five other universities across the state. The presence of such a center on our campus will help to strengthen our relationships with business and provide our students with unique opportunities to better prepare them for careers after graduation. Finally, UM Dearborn received a $1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy to establish a gate center for electric drive transportation on the campus. This is a great example of how universities contribute to the establishment of new industry and, most importantly, expose our students to some of the jobs of the future. I would like to welcome all of you to attend this weekend's commencement where we will celebrate the achievements of 450 of our graduating students. The ceremony takes place on Saturday, 2.30 in the Fieldhouse. Our graduation speaker is Josh Linkner, CEO and Managing Partner of Detroit Venture Partners and Chairman and former CEO of ePRIZE, the world's largest interactive prom promotion uh, agency. I invite you to read about a few of our graduate stories in, the, uh, in this edition of The Reporter. And as we draw closer to the holidays, I would like to thank all of you for everything you do to make Dearborn such a great university and a great community, and I would like to wish you a peaceful and relaxing time in the next several weeks with your family and friends.